I've got a plate that I want to do a little bit of artwork with you um, using. Plate number 191 that is one of the textile series. It's plate number three in our textile series. CJS191. Um, it's covered in really um, cool animal print with flowers and kind of combining the two. It's just really um, unique and pretty. We're going to use our new bling cubed stamper, which is a lovely rectangular stamper in our patented design where you can open up the back end and see right through. So let's get started here. Going to use um, three different colors actually. Here are our base colors that we've prepared ahead of time. I've got um, a pink one here that is number 249 Coco and Claire. This is called Willow, number 249. This one is called May, number 250. And this one is number 245 and it is called Epiphany. And these are from the base um, series in Coco and Claire. So they're basically a one step. Really, really nice to work on. We've put a coat of shine over top, which is a tack-free top coat. Um, tack-free top coat is a fantastic medium to work over top of. Um, it's basically like it uh, it draws the stamp image right off the, the stamper and onto your prepared nail. All right, let's get started. Um, the colors I'm going to use today, I have number one, no, sorry, 051. Uh, which is Bring on the Bubbly, a really pretty kind of tealy, soft, greeny blue. Um, this one is called Bluebell and it is number 069. And then a really pretty soft, soft pink called Pretty in Pink number 088. So let's get to creating here. I'm going to start off with uh, Bluebell and use it to make a base. Now, I think I wanna go with this guy right here. So this will end up being our base color. And then this is what's gonna go over top. And along with the flowers, there's also this really cool kind of triangular geometric, um, almost a grungy feel. It's sort of here and there, but not everywhere. So I'm gonna to apply to the top of the stamp image here. I like to go all the way down. You don't have to. That's just my preference. Now, when you come along to scrape, you want to scrape at an extreme angle and then immediately pick up. Don't waste any time. You see how I rolled over top of that? And look at that image. Every little detail picked up. So don't waste too much time. We're gonna come over here to this pretty pink one and right down the center. Show you what's going on here if I can. There we go. In place. Pat down those little bits of polish that tend to stick up around the edges. Now to clean my stamper, I've got one of our sticky pads. Removing this top film, this doesn't have any sticky on it. That's just to make it a little easier to transport. And there you go. Clean stamper, ready to go. Okay, I'm going to pull off a couple of these so that I can get closer to the camera here. So you can see how I line things up. Got this pulled right in so that hopefully you can see every little detail as I'm working. Okay, now we're going to use the gold to bring on the bubbly. Just going to give it a little stir. Want to make sure that your polishes are really well mixed. If you're stamping along and everything's going fine and then all of a sudden things just don't seem to be lifting for you properly, make sure that you mix up that polish a little bit. It might just be getting thick on you. Um, and if it is getting thick to the point where you need to thin it, we also have our polish thinner now. Okay, roll over top. Pick up all those details. There we go. 
Okay, now we're going to put it in position and take your time, make sure you get it exactly where you want it. Line up over top of those pretty flowers. Put a little bit of working time. Once you get it where you want it, press and hold. Give it some time to transfer. And there we go. Really, really pretty, really unique designs. So some of these are geometric along with the flowers. And then we've also got some animal prints. So let's do an animal print one next. We'll do it maybe with the pink and the gold. Okay, I'm gonna clean off this stamper. Over here on the sticky pad. Makes it easy, you don't have to chase your lint roller around. Lint rollers and our sticky pad are the best way to clean off your stamper, the safest way to clean off your stamper for sure. We like the sticky pad just because it's not round and it doesn't roll off on you. Okay, give this guy a stir. Shift this to the side just for now. And let's do this one up here. So we've got the base here. Pull it in a little tighter here. We've got the base over here. And then this is going to go over top. So let's go with pink. The pretty in pink. These are quite large, so let's make sure we've got enough. We don't want to skimp and not have enough when we scrape. I've got my stamper in my hand, ready to go. And at a nice extreme angle, just a gentle swipe. And roll over top. So basically, it's just the weight of the stamper when I'm rolling over top. I'm not pressing hard. It's just a quick little roll. Side where I want that to lay down. There you can almost see through the side of the stamper better than you can see through the top. This epiphany color is really pretty. It's got little hexes in it that just kind of lay underneath the surface and twinkle through. It's one of my favorite Coco and Claire bases. All right. Now we're going to do the top coat here, the second layer, using our Bring on the Bubbly. Just tipping it to the side here. This one's very well used, so it's getting a little low. One of my favorite colors to use for so many reasons and so many projects. All right, we're ready to scrape. I've got my stamper in hand again. See the little flowers. All right, so I'm going to eyeball here. I'm looking kind of at this space here because I can picture where that flower is in my pickup. Turn just a tiny bit. Make sure I'm in the right. Well, we're pretty close. It's amazing what you can get away with. Tap down all those extras. Now let's take a look. Uh, I don't love that. I'm actually gonna redo it. Cause I wanna get, I wanna get this flower sitting a little better in there. Um, when you're working over light colors, it can sometimes be tricky trying to see exactly where that first layer ended up and where you want the second layer to be. Now here you can see if you're a, not a gel polish user, um, the benefits of using gel polish, I'm like, eh, I don't like that one. Let's do it again. Easy. Just wipe it off, clean off my plate, and I am ready to take another shot. 
I am using our plate cleaner to clean off this plate, make sure it's dry. It's another thing you have to be certain of that that plate doesn't have a bunch of your polish remover or plate cleaner, whatever it is you're using to clean your plate because it will affect what you're gonna lay down then over top and mess with your polish a little bit. So make sure it's dry. Okay, make sure your stamper's clean, in hand, ready to go. Swipe, roll, and now we'll pop it right into place. Oop. If you push too hard, this will go right through. We do have that um, ridge that we designed in there though, so it stops it from literally going straight through and messing up your placement makes a big difference okay let's do number two shot with our bring on the bubbly stamper in hand We're ready to give it a scrape Take a look at where our flowers are laying and then decide what you're going to aim for. Right there. Nice and slow. You can just kind of twist things a little bit, aim them as you're going. how that little tip looks free here. So I'm just going to take whatever's left over on here and put down just a couple of these little leopard or cheetah print, whatever you desire. And look at that, how it finishes it off. Oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, let's um, pop these off and do some singles. Now, just put lotion on my hands, of course, so that I don't have dry cuticles to make a video. So let's clean these off, make sure we don't have any oils that are gonna mess with our transfer. Gonna clean off the plate a little bit. So there's loads of different sort of coordinating options on this plate. So why don't we We've got two of these um, epiphany ones left to deal with. So let's do um, these two leopard print and just layer them one on top of the other. So let's put gold down in the background and we'll do the great big one in the background. clean stamper. I usually leave it sitting there until the last second. Scrape. Roll over top. Pick everything up. And we're just creating a backdrop. Okay. Oh, so cute. It's cute just like that, but let's layer it just for the sake of being creative. Okay, we're gonna use the pretty and pink on this super um, fine 
leopard print over here. Scrape and roll. There we go. And just pop it over top. Sort of multi-dimensional. It's just interesting. Really pretty. Especially over top of that light color. It's just gorgeous. A little bit of that. Bring on the bubbly, just kind of sparkling through there. Okay, and we're gonna top coat these all at the end. That'll just kind of meld everything together. Let's finish these last two. So I'm going to come down here where these pretty flowers are down here. And we've got some singles. Dirty. <laughs> if you use a dirty cloth to clean it, it's going to stay dirty. <laughs> okay, cleaning off my stamper. Stamper's ready to go. I always have my scraper kind of handy and picked up, otherwise they tend to stick to these silicone mats that we use. Okay, so we're going over top of the May. Excuse my scratched up hands. Oh my gosh, I have a new kitten, can you tell? Okay, sorry, I just caught sight of that as I was reaching <laughs> for that, for that nail. Okay, um, we're using the Epiphany, so let's do... Uh, let's do pink and gold over top so that we can actually have a bit of contrast there. I'm going to use these down here. So that is the base right there. Give it a scrape and a roll. So there you can see what we picked up. Pop it into place. Just going to favor this one flower at the top. I want to get kind of most of it into my onto the nail so that when we get that second um, layer on there that it's really kind of about that flower and that's this flower right here all right and we're gonna do that with our burn on the bubbly smush it on there Stamper's clean. Scrape and a roll. Oh, look at all those details. Can you see the details? Look at all those details. Okay, just gonna take my time, make sure that I get things right where I want them, just twisting a tiny bit. And then once you get it where you want it, Push a little bit, hold a little bit, make sure we're transferring. There we go. Knock down all those guys that are sticking up. Big details in there, so pretty. Those fine lines. You know, if you use the right technique, it is incredible how fine of a line you can pick up. Lots of our plates have really fine lines. Um, and if you're using proper technique and the proper tools, you'd be really happy with what you can pick up. Create some really delicate, beautiful looks. All right, we've got one left to do here. Um, we are doing the white one, which is May number 250, this guy. What do we want to put on him? cleaned up here so we've got all of our options. Let's do a more delicate version of what we just did. More delicate. Well, they're both delicate, but um, the one that we're going to do here, they're just a lot smaller flowers. And let's do something a little different because we are working on a white nail. Let's marble our background. So let's use both of um, the Bluebell and the Pretty in Pink just kind of pick a flower here and there just splotch it on a little bit more pink maybe ok 
Okay, so I don't want it to be too marbled, so I'm only gonna scrape mm, twice maybe. Otherwise everything just blends together and it looks, just looks like a new splotchy different color instead of marbled. I think we like that. We'll lean to the side that's more marbled. stay consistent so that we've got some sort of cohesive look here with our finished product. Now I stayed to the right of this particular image so I'm just going to kind of lean to the right while I'm doing the top because there's no point in filling the whole thing up with polish. Roll over top, get all those pretty details. And let's do some line marking. Okay, so I've got this flower is very obvious in here, right there. So let's go ahead and line those two up. Gives me something to aim for. Everything else can kind of turn in and tune in as we start laying it down. if we need any more <laughs> there's already quite a bit going on we've got a lot of a lot of flowers and some animal print and a little bit of geo and my goodness it's everything in one manicure <laughs> where do i look <laughs> oh, that's really pretty though we could uh add a little bit more to this one if you want let's do that just for fun since we've pretty much almost hidden our um, epiphany in the background there, let's bring some epiphany back forward with one of these singles down here. We use our blue bell as our base. Nice light roll. Okay, we've got some extra stuff on there, so I'm going to use the side of my scraper. It's like a little bit of the flower, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because I'm coming with an outline, so there's enough going on in this nail that that's not going to make a big difference. Okay, let's, let's put it down in the corner here. And you know what? We've got a little bit of our fun that we've got underneath there shining through. So let's do one more coat. Sometimes I like to do that just for it to be a little bit more opaque. I picked up a little bit less that time of the extra stuff. Just going to use my side of my scraper to get those extra bits. And then I'm just gonna line this back over top of the one that we already laid down there. Like so. That helps make it a bit more opaque. Something else you could do is, um, you could have top coated over top of this first. So it smooths everything out, sort of melds everything together that you've done all right, like previously. And then you'd have less of sort of that showing through into this layer. Does that make sense? Sometimes it makes sense in my head what I'm saying, but I listen back to it later and go, wow, what the heck? <laughs> How's anybody, how is anybody gonna know what I'm talking about? Okay, so there's our little flower. Now is it complete? Eh, not really. Let's do it again. I missed 
was my finger. I missed a little bit of the top edge there. Let's do it again. For the time it takes, let's do it right. Clean this off. I clean off my scraper too, because there's some product on there. Now it's possible I didn't get all the way across, so make sure we've got it fully covered. Got a clean stamper. see it through the lens here. That's better. Clean off the extra here. Go along the side so I don't get it in the polish that I've scraped here sitting on the end. I've done that before often. Makes a big mess. And there we go flower down in the corner just to shake it up a little bit so I am going to now put a coat of shine from Coco and Claire on top of these and then we'll show you how that turned out that'll be in the next shots thank you so much for watching today I hope everybody's staying safe out there and we will see you in the next video